Having already taken a look at the GoPro Hero 3 in a previous video along with some of the backpack and mounting solutions, we've seen that one of the great selling points of this superb little camera was the ability to not only mount it onto almost anything securely, but also have the ability to add these attachments and backpacks to the cameras as and when we need to. We have the final backpack available here, which helps increase the functionality and flexibility of the GoPro camera. Welcome to Ifty's Tech Corner, where today we are looking at the GoPro LCD Touch Backpack. One of the main drawbacks of this GoPro Hero 3 camera is the frustrating menu system. As with previous Hero cameras, you can find yourself pressing the same button over and over to cycle through the menus when you've clicked past the option you really wanted to change. If you wanted to make a quick setting change before you continue shooting, this can get a little annoying. We can overcome this issue and add a lot more functionality to the GoPro Hero 3 camera with the addition of this unit here, the GoPro LCD Touch Backpack. Now this isn't the first time we've seen an LCD backpack. In fact, I've taken a look at the previous backpack created for the Hero 2 in a previous video. So what's changed? Well, this new LCD Touch Backpack uses a touch-sensitive display, meaning that there's no need to use the power and shutter buttons to navigate the menus at all. Bear in mind, though, that you are still able to use the previous LCD backpack with your Hero 3 camera, or you can even use this Touch Backpack with the old Hero 2 camera, although without the touch sensitivity feature. Now the optional touchscreen is a great addition even if it's only used for navigating the menus. It also eliminates the guesswork from lining up shots so you can make sure the shot is framed correctly before you press that record button. Once you have your photo or video footage it also provides an opportunity to play back that footage quickly and easily. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at what we get inside. Now I tend to open my backpack boxes from the bottom, just find them a lot easier to get into and we can slide out the backpack here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And we have our accessories box in the top here. And within this accessories box, we have, now this is a touch back door. This can be used in as an extension to the waterproof back door. And you can retain your touch sensitive display features by using this. We have a standard, waterproof back door. We also have a small extension mount. We have a skeleton back door. So this has some vents on the sides so you can press the buttons on the actual backpack um, LCD display. We have a small GoPro backpack case. This backpack case is exactly the same as we would receive with the battery backpack. And we receive some literature, some warranty information, and a card to let you know obviously all user manuals are online and a small card to inform you that you will need an update for your Hero 3 camera before you can use the backpack. Taking a quick look at the three back doors that we receive with the actual LCD Touch backpack, we have the standard waterproof back door here so it's made of the same tough plastic as any other waterproof back door. Now the second back door here is a touch back door so we can remove this plastic and the actual rear, all the sides of the back door are actually a tough plastic just like the standard waterproof back door but we have a membrane here which is soft to the touch and that allows us to go through and touch the actual LCD display. So I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera there, but there's a very soft membrane covering the rear of the actual back door. Remember though that underwater, the touch sensitive display will not work. So even underwater, you'll be unable to use the actual touch sensitive features, but out of the water, you'll be able to use the same touch sensitive features as though there was no case on the actual GoPro itself. Finally, we have the skeleton back door. Now this has a hole through the center here and holes on each side. So we can get to the buttons on each side and we can operate all touch sensitive features on the actual backpack itself. Now, although it's great that we get a case and a variety of back doors to use under different shooting conditions, the actual backpack itself is a relatively plain affair. It's very light, so it won't add too much weight to your GoPro and it feels very sturdy and well made. 
On the front of the unit, we have this rather impressive 5 cm in diagonal touch sensitive screen, which we'll look at in just a moment. Both the top and the bottom of the units are completely clear of features or functions. On this side, we have the one button on the entire unit, which is used to power the LCD screen on and off. Bear in mind that even though the backpack is attached to the camera, it doesn't mean the LCD screen needs to remain switched on. So you could, for example, use the screen to line up your shot and then use this button to switch the LCD display off without having to remove the backpack entirely. Very useful for conserving precious battery life. The same button is also used for playing back captured footage, including instant slow motion playback and so on. Just below this we have a small speaker. It's not hugely loud and doesn't provide brilliant sound, but it's good enough for playing back and reviewing your footage on location. Finally on this side is a 3.5mm headphone jack, used for listening to sound from your footage rather than using the built-in speaker. On the rear of the unit we have the standard side hinge and proprietary GoPro mount, the same mount used across the entire range of backpacks including the previous generation. Attaching the LCD touch backpack to the GoPro camera is the same as any other backpack, simply slide in from the side hinge and push into place. The backpack itself performs very well overall, the screen itself is relatively sharp for its size and reasonably vivid. As we can see here I can navigate the various options on the unit very quickly and easily without having to fiddle with the shutter and power buttons on the camera itself. This makes the camera much easier and more pleasurable to use, giving it more of a premium look and feel. Touch sensitivity is relatively good, although I do find when option buttons are located in the corners or edges of the screen you sometimes need to give it a second or third attempt for it to actually register your touch. Again, a slight annoyance, but nowhere near a reason to disregard the backpack altogether. When playing back video, images are sharp and well coloured. It will even play back your slow-mo footage at a slow motion pace, which is a great feature. However, we then come to one of the main drawbacks of this unit. There's no way to actually change the brightness on the screen, and you may struggle to see what's actually on the screen in strong or bright sunlight. So you'll sometimes find yourself cupping your hand around the top of the screen so you can actually see what's going on. I also found that while playing back video it can be a little slower in responding to touch and talking of touch sensitivity, bear in mind that the touch functions will not work when the camera is underwater, even when using that touch sensitive back door. Other than these small issues, the backpack seems to work very well and I was pleased with the overall performance of the small and compact gadget. Now a quick note with regards to the battery life. The LCD backpack does not contain its own battery, so whereas the Hero 3 camera may record for an hour or so under normal conditions, having the LCD backpack attached and the display on will eat into the battery life of the camera itself and you'll find yourself getting much less battery life out of the entire unit. Unfortunately we have no way of adding additional batteries to the camera to make it last longer with this LCD backpack is attached. Although you do have the option of keeping the camera's USB cable plugged in so that the camera runs off mains power instead. Not the most convenient solution though. The only way to really try to extend your battery life while shooting with this backpack attached is to use the display to set up the camera options and line up your shot and then press the button on the side to actually switch off the display. Either that or you can remove the display entirely. Once you finish shooting, either reattach the backpack or switch it back on in order to preview your footage. The aim is to try to keep the backpack switched off while you shoot so that your camera is able to keep all the remaining battery life to itself rather than having to share it with the display. So, after looking at the pros and cons of this LCD touch backpack, is it really worth the premium you pay for it? Well that depends on your actual need for the backpack. Remember you also have the option of the GoPro app instead which you can also use to navigate menus and line up your shots. As for the LCD touchscreen backpack itself, it's a great alternative, even if you just use it to navigate the menus and line up your shots, and then to play back captured footage on location. It's a great addition to your GoPro camera. Bear in mind that the touch feature will only work with the newer iteration of GoPro cameras, but it's a very welcome addition and makes the entire camera much easier to use overall. What I would like to see in the future is this LCD display built into this actual wireless remote, even if it makes the remote bigger. It will really be fantastic to be able to not only change menu options and control the camera via this wireless remote, but also to be able to see a live stream of what you are actually recording at the same time, all independent of the actual camera unit itself. 
Now we do have the GoPro app, which we'll be taking a look at in another video very soon, and it does all of this, but it would be great to be able to do this independently of any smartphone or tablet altogether. Nevertheless, when it comes to the LCD touch backpack itself, it's a definite thumbs up from me. Feel free to leave a comment below. Keep an eye on this channel for more GoPro videos, backpack reviews, editing tips and tutorials all coming very soon. Please feel free to like this video, it really does help me out. Don't forget to subscribe though, as you'll automatically be entered into my 2013 monthly giveaway. Click the logo above for more details. See you soon on Ifti's Tech Corner.